we are going to learn about the rotate tree. In the previous video, we discussed the what a tree is. Now we introduce the related concept that is the rooted tree. A rooted tree is a tree in which one vertex has been assigned as the root and every edge is directed away from the root. For example, in this figure we have basic tree. It is not a rooted tree because no vertex has been assigned as the root. However, if we take this tree, in this case we call it as a rooted tree with the root A. It means once the root is assigned, every edge in that tree is considered as the directed away from root. Regardless of its position, whether it is pointed towards the left or towards the right. Similarly, if I say that B is the root, all the edges would be considered directed away from the B. The same rule is applicable for any other vertex if we choose it as the root. So in general, a rooted tree is a tree structure where one specific vertex is a starting point that is called as a root and all other vertices are organized in the level beneath it. Next we have terminology in a rooted tree. Rooted tree has terminology that is inspired by the biological and geologically trees. For example, if there is an edge in a rooted tree from the vertex A to B, in that case, A is called as the parent of B, whereas B is called as the child of A. For example, consider this rooted tree at vertex A. In this case, B and C are the children of A because they are directly connected to A and lie one level below it. So A is the parent of B and C. Another case we can take here, consider the vertex H. H is connected to vertex E, so we call H is a child of E and E is a parent of H. Moreover, if two vertices share the same parent, they are called siblings. Like in this case, B and C are the siblings because both have the same parent A. It is important to note that in a rooted tree, every vertex except to the root has a one parent. There can never be more than one parent because that would introduce a cycle which is not allowed in a tree. Like if we say that E has a two parent that is C as well as B. Now we are getting a cycle in this case as it contains the cycle so we cannot categorize it as a tree. Another case we can take as a siblings E, F and G are the siblings because they share the same parent as C. However, D is not the sibling of E, F, G because their parents are different. Another term we have ancestors. Ancestors of a vertex other than the root are the vertices in the path from the root to this vertex. So for example, to find the ancestors of the H, find the parent of H that is E, parent of E is C and the parent of C is A. So the ancestors of H is E, C and E. We do not include H itself as its own ancestors. Because ancestor means the parent of that vertex, then further their parent, then further its parent. So till the time we have not reached at the root, we will take all such roots. Note that root has no ancestors. Next term we have descendants. Descendant means we need to find the all vertices that have as an ancestors. For example, if we want to find the descendant of the vertex C, we include its children that is E, F, G. Then the children of those children that is find the children of the vertex E that is H and I. Consider all these vertices taken together forms the descendant sets of the vertex C. 
Another important term in a rooted tree is the concept of leaf and the internal vertices. A leaf is a vertex that is no children. In other words, it is a vertex at the end of the branches in a tree. Like in this case, the leaves are D, H, I, F, G. So it is an end point of branches or we can say that it has no further child due to which it is called as leaves. And a vertex that have one or a more children is called as the internal vertices. Or we can say that vertices that have children are called as internal vertices. Like in this case, A has a two children, so we call A as an internal vertex. B has one child, so we call it as an internal vertex. C has three children, so we again call it as an internal vertex. Even E is an internal vertex. In short, every vertex of a tree is either a leaf or internal vertices. So we can say that total number of vertices in a tree is equal to the number of leaves plus internal vertices. Also note that the root is called as an internal vertex unless it is the only tree in the graph in which the case is considered as a leaf. It means if we have the trivial graph that contains only one vertex but there is no edge and we call it as a rooted tree with a root A. In this case, A is categorized as the leaf rather than internal vertex because it has no child. 